All right, guys, welcome to Robin's Bill. Um, got a 91 F350 here, uh, 7.3 IDI. Um, should be the same for like 90, probably to 93, um, automatic. Um, if you're having an issue where um, your tack ain't working and it's also put your uh, overdrive light on and then your tranny goes into pretty much limp mode and doesn't want to shift right or erratic shifting um first thing to check uh is your attack sensor which is right on top two wires uh unplug that and then ohm it see if you have a connection and then if that's good um move along you can check uh because you, know, you got corrosion and stuff and you know these trucks are obviously old um you got your connection here that's for your uh, the TPS wires. And then this one down bottom is a smaller one. That is for the uh, tack. You can ohm it from there to there. And then obviously that wraps all the way around the front. And then you can uh, find your uh, other wires over here and try ohming it there. Uh, most likely it's probably not a wiring issue, but anything can happen. Um, obviously if this um, doesn't ohm correctly, just get a new one and try that. That's most likely it could be your problem. On this one, however, I saw online I'm talking about a relay and I really didn't see no pictures of exact location or anything like that. But down here, you'll find a relay. It looks something like that. This black wire here, that goes to your uh, TPS on the injection pump. That sends the uh, five volt signal I'm assuming, I guess, from the computer, over to there. Um, so, you got your three wires on here. Um, the bottom wire, this one, you go from the top down. Top down, this wire, that is your signal wire. So, check to see if you have five volts there with the key on. Mine did not have five volts there. So I came over here, I found the relay. This relay was actually warm, which means probably got corrosion in there, resistance, you know. Still a Ford relay, probably original since 91. So I actually uh, had the ohmmeter hooked up and I just tapped this on here and the voltage started going up and down. And then uh, I had it running and I tapped on it. I got three, five volts and then the tack worked. So I got a new relay coming to replace this. So it's probably a lot of the culprits, I would think it's probably gonna be that relay. So I figured I'd show it. That's on the driver's side, right by the coolant and the uh, washer fluid reservoirs. I said you got, maybe the wiring color might be different, but you got two reds, uh, two yellows, and a black. The black wire, that is your five volt feed wire so hope that helps some people out if you're having that issue um check out check your sensor ohm that if that checks come over here and check out your uh relay all right guys thanks for watching